M1, X1, double dot. And then I have plus K1, X1. Okay. Uh, K1 plus K2, X1, plus, minus, yeah, minus K2, X2, no, 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 this equal to, no, 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 no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Plus, and that has to be zero, and M2, X2, double dot, and I have, okay, and I move this over here, so therefore I have plus, plus K2 X1 <coughs> minus K2 X2 equals zero. Is it correct? I don't think this is correct. Okay. What would be the correct one? Uh, it has to be minus and this has to be plus. Is it right? Yeah. Right. Right. Or right. this one over here. Okay. So this is equation one. We have an equation one and two. We can also write this equation one and two in matrix form. Right? The reason why we are using matrix form, one reason is this is rather compact compared with this algebraic form. And also if we use matrix form, then we can use the mathematical properties that are associated with the matrix. Okay, uh, when you are a freshman, you learn linear algebra. In linear algebra, you certainly had an experience to study the, the property of a matrix. I can see that some of guys, hey, I did take the linear algebra, but I forgot everything. But don't worry, the, if you see the text, the, te the text very kindly reviews the, the characteristics, property. You have to know to understand what we are going to do for two degree of freedom vibratory system. Okay? So if you write this in matrix form, and it look like M1, 0, 0, M2, okay, then I have X1 double dot, X2 double dot, and plus I have K1 plus K2, and minus K2, minus K2, K2, okay, X1, X2, and these are zero. Okay, again, if I introduce the vector notation, in other words, expressing X vector like this. Okay, that means, that means I, I'm, I'm trying to express the displacement of 
There is two degree of freedom system using vector. Okay. Of course, this is not convenient to you at the moment, but when we handle many degree of freedom system, which means that we have many, many mass and spring, that, that concept make us easier, easier understanding or easier approach to analyze the vibration system. So using this, and also matrix notation, and I say this is mass matrix M, capital M, and I say this is X, double down, plus K matrix, X is equal to nerve matrix or nerve vector zero. I can write this is zero. Okay? Therefore we have the equation that look like very similar with what we learn a single degree of freedom systems M S double the plus KX equal zero that is the equation of motion of a single degree of freedom vibratory system that when that does not have the damping. Okay? And we know that the solution of this single degree of freedom system can be expressed like XT is equal to what? Some constant and sine omega nt plus some constant cosine omega nt, where omega n is natural frequency, small k and small m. Okay? And this a and b are determined by the initial condition, which means initial displacement and initial velocity acting on this single degree of freedom Okay, right? So, today's lecture, I'd like to introduce essentially this two degree of freedom system is, uh, is, is essentially follows the same procedure we took to understand the single degree of freedom system. Okay? Therefore, if you understand how, what is the similarity between two degree of freedom system and a single degree of freedom system, then you can understand, of course, for the vibration system of three degree of freedom system and degree of freedom system easily. Okay? So this is a sort of second step to understand the vibration of a multi degree of freedom system. Okay? Let's see how we do this. Okay, note that we also can try the solution of this single degree of freedom system by letting x of t is equal to a exponential j omega t. a can be, of course, in this case, complex. 